It's been a minute. Gotta do some editing. Yes, I do have some money for you, sir. I'm sure that we can get uh, back to a, a fair, a fair payment. If you, if you ask me myself, I think this is a very good idea, indeed. Not a bad idea whatsoever. If you ask me, you're my voice, right where I need it to be. Now we are looking mighty fine right now. I want to walk on down some fine stance. We look down some front and make sure it's working. We got to check on mail. We got, we got a letter in the paper. It's a little bigger fine as we want there, of course. La -de -da. The town looks like it might be very busy today, which is good to hear. Very good to hear and bait. Listen, I was too tired to make the trip back. Hey, howdy, howdy. Did you guys go to the business council meeting? Mm, no, we didn't go this time. No oh, shit. Okay. Good afternoon. Howdy. How have you been? Um, I've been fine. How about you? I'm doing well. Good to see you today. Yeah, it is a nice day indeed. And, man, I, I'll I, see you later, Misty. I've been uh, quite preoccupied again, but uh, so you get some moving pictures going, and maybe if I'll see uh, Thatcher around here, I can catch up again. Um,. He is out sailing, possibly until Saturday. Well, no worries. Zero Q two mm -hmm. nine seven. But uh, he should be back, and hopefully in good health. <laughs> Zero Q two nine seven. O Q two nine seven. O Q. OQ297.
It's a new icon. I don't, I don't know what it means at the moment. Gotta, gotta see what that means, Mama P. Buttons. I gotta, I gotta get used to moving in the game because I was, I've been playing a lot of different games lately, so I've been using different controls, and that in itself can get kind of weird. Hey, what's up, Cupid Tails? How you doing? Hell yeah! Look at that, made in time. And Frank Brower. I'm gonna get myself back into the way I speak as this character. I've got business to talk about. I got things to do. I gotta get caught up in my adventures and make some money for myself, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Never know what might happen, Frank Brower. Take it off and buy outlaws. Speaking of how much money do I have in the bank, because I do owe a good sum to uh, a new friend of mine. An 820. So we can get $1,000. Pay him back a 1000 right then. He must be much more happy with himself. That Captain Thatcher would be much happier if I paid him one grand right out of my pocket next time I see him, since I do owe him a fortune. But once I'm square, and I ain't, I, I'm no longer under the debt of a friend. I think my path forward could be a lot more clear when it comes to taking another uh, risky loan. Maybe build my wealth first before I start spending it. I'm a good idea for myself. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Good evening. What can we get you? Can I got a stew, please? I'm not hungry. Howdy, howdy. It's just a basic beef stew, but it is fresh. Can I get you anything, fella? Well, get by me. Uh, yeah, I can take a bowl Thank of stew. You, Appreciate that. Mm -hmm, of course. How much would it be? Whatever you could spare, hon. Do that real fast, or just give me a quick second? Thank you. Let me get behind the bar. Well, thank you for the service. I uh, definitely fed my belly very well. Are you welcome? Have a safe travels. I think it's time we go find a spot to fish and relax and enjoy the. The sunlight for ourselves. Yes, sir, Ray. La -de da Let's get into character here a bit. 
Hey, what's it going? Doing great. Uh, can you either just call me Cupid or Tail? Okay. <laughs> Sounds fine by me. Gonna stream and record some more Red Dead roleplay that upload something eventually. This is me. If this dressing room is full, I know of another. Let's go for a bit of fishing. Get out of this nice sail to uh, them fellers. Or we could head to um, Valentine and get a film going, make some money that way as well. Dex to Norden, Norden I've been uh, meaning to get back to RP. Good to see you as well. Yeah, I figured I'd play a little bit today. I haven't played a lot recently because I've been trying out some other stuff. But uh, the RP is always really good on uh, Red Dead Redemption. Unfortunately, it just is like... At the same time, I'm having fun of it, but I'm also trying to grow my YouTube channel. And my Red Dead content just hasn't been doing good lately on YouTube. Which sucks, but... That's how it is sometimes, but uh, here and there doesn't, you know, I don't know. I'll figure out a good schedule on it. Like, I want, I want to get big enough where I can just play whatever I want and not have to worry about, like, what people think as much. I don't know. It's rough. So I'm not, I'm not really thinking in the ways of how to be a big YouTuber, because if I was doing that, I'd be playing some very different games. I want to build a community around what I do for YouTube. At the same time, it's like I'm pushing against the grain, you know? I'm riding against the waves, as, as some would say. Red Dead's a really good-looking game. It's beautiful. It spoils you of graphics and animations and lighting and everything. It's very real. They did a very good job making this game look very real.
I've been thinking of some new characters recently. I've been thinking about playing uh, traveling salesman and see what kind of shenanigans can get into with him. Uh, my own coach driver thing would be fun. Um, what else? Um, I think the traveling salesman. I really want to like get like a, a caravan, and, like sell a wagon. Slowly go to place to place and just like sell meats and basic things that people could use to cook with. I want to get turned down something. Whatever causes the most lag. I, just want, I want good, like, clothing detail and terrain detail, but water quality is going to be good. Water quality will be applied to the I like trees being good. The fur cloak has got to be high. There's a few things I want like good detail on. I would like to have good detail on everything, but it's not how it is, you know. I think my computer's also getting old now, that's why I think they're lagging more. I need to probably change my thermal pace as well. It's been it's been a while since I've done that with this computer. I'll have to buy some when I have money. Do some upkeep on it. into a tree. Alright, we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna make some money for ourselves. Good time just to chat for a bit. So, I have coming up oh, next month I'm sorry, next week, uh, we'll be doing some um, the four, Sons of the Forest roleplay. I'll, I'll be making a roleplay video out of that game. Um, I'm going I'm to try to get back in some wild RP again, some Red Dead stuff. I, I'm trying to find like some new things to make stories on, you know? Some things to kind of see what I can push the envelope with a bit. Oh, I think I've been doing that wrong. I forgot you gotta focus on the bites. I haven't fished in a while. There we go.
Is Dreaden, uh, I, I, I've seen it. Um, is it multiplayer or is it single player? I could do a single, I could do like a single player story of being out there. Um, trying to survive. It could be interesting. I think the fish got us some away there a bit. World sinking takes a while. You know what surprises me? Like a lot of multiplayer, like this is like a lot of online play is like really lag free sometimes, but there's also like a lot of new games that still have a lot of really bad like desync and lag and online gameplay. You think by now it'd be like much better? Well, you have to do is wait for the world to sink, and if anyone disconnects, uh, you'll have to sink again. Does disconnections happen a lot? These fish are so close. I wonder if I can just shoot him. <laughs> there we go. Get out there. Come on, come on, come on. You want to bite that. There we go. Ooh, rock bass. Oh, I'm saying, okay, cool. My, my thing is, it's got to be consistent because it gets really hard to, like, make a video when everyone's disconnecting all the time or lagging. You know? I got some fishing luck right now. Got them one after another. I'm loving it. Chain pickerel. Pickerel. There we go. Close enough. Something, something I'll buy, I think. It's hard to tell how fast your barber is moving at the, at the distance. 
You gotta get as still as possible for them to want to buy it. If we're going too fast, they just kind of ignore it or get scared by it. There's three of them pretty close. I like rock bass. They sell for like just often a decent little price. Sometimes they can be kind of high. Sometimes they can be kind of low. But usually they're they're at a decent price of like seven to eight, seven to ten bucks. Sometimes eleven. Which I mean for weight wise, because you, you have to worry about how much weight I'm carrying on me. Like, damn. So far, I probably would be the best. Three dollars. I didn't realize it hooked right away. I just kind of spaced out there. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you, you rock bass. You rock bass, some bitch. How's your guys' uh, what you guys been up to lately? Tell me what's going on with you guys. How's you guys all been? Tell me, tell me. Tell me how you all been. You know, I kind of want to go Blackwater to see if that fishing spot's good. That spot, 
can be pretty good sometimes, but I haven't seen it kicking off in a bit. Because it's so dense full of fish when it is good. Ten dollars. Dollars. Three dollars. Four bucks. Nine. Six. Nine. That was a pretty good haul for uh, the few fish I did get. Looking for real good dance fishing spots where I can just throw my rod in and let it do its thing. All right, what I'm doing. We're lake fishing, that's what we're doing, so we're gonna fall along this mass of water. We can't find ourselves another dense spot full of fish. Look there, looky there. Back. I'm gonna take a look at these fish down here. I bet they will do me wonders. They look real hungry. Look at them. Ready to bite. Eager to bite. Be rock bass. Bluegill ain't too bad. A couple of bucks in This might be my new fishing spot. I like how the fish are kind of confined right here and they can't just swim out farther. They can, but it's a lot as easy. And uh, my other spots, they get kind of far out and it's really hard to tell how far my uh, bobble is. Cause you gotta slow it down as much as you can to catch it. And at that distance, it seems like it's moving slower or faster. It's hard to tell. It's kind of like an illusion going on in my head, if you like. Gotta save another fish. Bluegill and rock bass look real similar in the water. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna drop, drop myself a soda pot here in a second.
They're catching fish way faster right here, which is nice. Another perch, not bad. Yeah, they caught all the fish. Look at that. It caught. Oh, there's more back there. Look at that. Is he back there? I thought I had fish stuff on there. Do another side buddy. We have to cast a little farther for them. Maybe they might bring them over here. I'm lucky. Oh man, come on, come on. It seems like they're kind of coming in this direction, but they're still part of the wolf. Oh, it's very close here. It's gonna bite any second. Come on now. Come on. Ooh, he was right on it for a second. Right on it. And the snake might be scaring them away, though. Yeah, we'll go sell these uh, fish I caught. We're going to walk the horse there, too, because it looks cool when you do that. Okay, so you can't do both. So I know some things can do both. Like, I can hold the beer bottle in one hand and walk the horse. We'll just walk the horse on for it. I like to do this because I don't see very many people doing this in character. Everyone just kind of rides their horse willy nilly. And sometimes it's just easier to walk the horse somewhere than hop on. Maybe your legs are tired. Maybe you don't feel like hop riding a horse at the moment, you know? I try to think about, like, how does my character feel in the moment? And he's like, I, I might as well just walk the horse down the road. I ain't going nowhere, none too far. That's for sure. Yes, you read. You know, something I've noticed lately, not a lot of people have been hanging out in, uh... Van Horn. Whenever I'm here, it's always uh, empty as hell. I know Van Horn used to be a really popular place for a bit, for a lot of outlaws. Oh, I made up for his price. Hey, got $115 from selling the fish.
I should start making movies about Jack Kettleman and how, how he's a dangerous outlaw and stuff. Now, I must hire security some guards and things of that sort. Jack. Kettle Jack is a dangerous animal. Yeah, it might be loosely based on some of the stories we, uh, of our adventures together and things we've met of the infamous Jack Kettle me, but Kettle Jack is it's a different name. It doesn't ring the same. It's not like I use your real name. I just think about that, it's making you more popular out there. Some people might see you as a hero. Some people might see you as an icon or something like that. Making you more infamous, more famous. Is that what I lost more? Fame, the rush. Imagine if Jack Hill, I may have felt like Jack Hill already. It approaches me. I've gotten the idea to shoot a film about the infamous Jack Hill man. from the tailor. They tend to make similar outfits, and I buy what's on the shelf sometimes. And unfortunately, fortunately for myself, I found one that fit my taste, but unfortunately, it seems that we have similar tastes. What folks should make? The great minds think alike, you know. Maybe that day, maybe that dog. Good afternoon. I think the guy was trying to talk, but I think he was talking much too quietly. What's this new symbol mean?
All right, let's head to uh, Round Tires. Let me see moving pictures, Bella. Yep, they have moving pictures on the big screen. The swamp is, I love it. It's eerie, it's very detailed. The atmosphere is great. It's got a whimsical feel to it as well. Interesting. I don't know who was a player on a fancy suit on. How could anything ever go wrong out here? Look at how beautiful it is.
God damn, this game is beautiful, I say. It is outrageously stunning. It is exciting. It is riveting. It is beautiful. It is all those things in one. Have a lovely day. Good afternoon. Have a lovely day. All right, take, take care, Tails. See you, see you back soon. like it's a lovely day in Valentine. Folks are about doing their chores, the day-to-day -day activities on a bad day and date. If you ask me myself, I think folks out here are living their fullest <laughs> like that guy. Miss, are you in distress by these two ne'er to whales? Well, sir, how could you make such an assumption? Well, as I was walking up, Hi. all I can see is a man What's roping a woman in the mud. Tied up. Yeah. She, and, and, and we, sir, we, I will have you know we were playing a game called ropes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a fun game. Uh, look. Yeah. Well, yeah, I say, I, I, where I come from, that is not a game folks play, because at a distance, maybe a lawman might mistake you for ne'er do wells and consider you uh, a child to kidnap. It's just a game. <laughs> well, I, I know yeah. this now. I'm just Here simply uh, get you out. Uh, no, telling you folks of the potential risks if the law were to see you and misunderstood themselves. But it's a game you're playing. What's your name? <laughs> My name is uh, Frank Brower. Pleasure to meet you, folks. Nice to meet you. I'm Cole. Cole Duncan. Cole Duncan. Frank Brower, I will have you know I am no near to well. I am a man of science. My name is Dr. Ed Structo. Well, good not for you, Not a board certified uh, doctor, but, uh, you know, not a PhD. Now, what kind of science do you get yourself into? Oh, I, I tend to dabble in a vi wide area of, uh, of research, including some uh, behavioral sciences, also biological and and, uh, and mechanical. It's a mix, mostly. Now, are you still in these two uh, intriguing folks right behind you there? Oh, yes. They seem like very interesting people, the two of them. Uh, so, say, what was the name again? I went one at the other. Uh, pardon. Um, mine or, or theirs? Yeah, yours. Mine. Mm -hmm. My name is Dr. Ed. Dr. Ed. Haven't we met before? You've seen my films, haven't you? Oh, yes, yes, uh, we might have. I, I tend to leave the crossing for many, uh, for, for, uh, for, for a long time, usually. No, I understand. Go studying the flora and the fauna. Uh, likewise. Well, oh, not studying, but uh, I tend to find myself out of the state uh, for a good uh, time period as well. But I, I do recognize you. Uh, I think you've came in at least three times in my tent there here in uh, Valentine. Ah, yes, yes. That's why your name seems familiar. And look, they're playing the game ropes now. 
It's all in good, uh, in good fun. Well, I, I, I figure that's all good fun, man. I just want to do my due diligence as a good civilian of the cross in here. Make sure I uphold uh, the, the righteous way of living and so on. But I'm glad no one was hurt. It's my oh, mistake. Oh, yes, that's very noble of you. Would you like to play around? No, no, no. I, I'm not, I, I would not like to play around. I like to keep myself nice and clean and... Uh, no, 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 no! Uh, Jesus! No! <laughs> this is not a game I wish to play! <laughs> I'm not looking to find myself dirtied upon the mud. This is not a game I wish to play, lady! Leave me be! I do not play ropes. I do not like to have my person in the mud, covered in dirt! No, Jesus Christ! No, I do not want to play your game! I do not want to end up in the mud! Woman, please! Please! Uh, leave me be! I'm not playing your game! I'm not playing your game! This is not a game I wish to play! I, 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 I'm out! Time out! Time out! I'm not playing this game! Oh, Jesus! Now listen, listen, this is not a game I'm looking to play. I, I, I do not want to play a game. Wait, wait, no, but it's not. Oh, uh, I, go. hands off now, come on now, you've gone and made me muddy. Who's gonna pay for this mess now? Do you have the money to pay for a brand new suit? You know how much this thing cost me? More than your work. But you wanna play play games? Mr. Brower, she's back. You said it yourself. I did not want to play. I said no, no, Serene, no, thank you, no, not today, not yeah. never, not ever. Now you Excuse have a me. Wonderful smart in you. Excuse me. Um, what seems to be the problem here? What started this? This uh, miscreant wanted to rope me off my horse because they thought I was going to play their game, and I did not want to play their game. Yeah, See, I, I, I'm a dignified individual. I am nice and I keep myself nice and cleanly and clean. Okay. Miss, if uh, someone Mr. doesn't Brower, want it, please. She's, uh, she is, uh, she was just playing, you know. It's a game for her. Bye. Well, well, um, for you guys, if someone doesn't consent to the game, just like if someone doesn't consent to most things, you probably shouldn't do that. Also, Miss, um, roping someone off their horse can severely injure them. That could even kill mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the smart is so good. You can land on it, and it can be soft. Like no, but just like pulling you. someone off their horse when they're going fast, just the speed and... and oh, the, yeah, the... I made sure he, what he stopped. <laughs> Dr. Ed, you should teach your two friends here the, the lessons of consent of another I'm individual. I'm a puppy! Uh, I, I see. I, I shall take responsibility for this. It's it's okay. They, uh, they, they just... We have, we have just met, and I am getting to know these two young people. They're very... Uh, they're very... F Hi, what's your name? Uh, I would say they have Buffy. no ill will. Hi, mm -hmm. I'm Buffy. You want to play a game? Well, now no, I need to go find uh, that game anymore, please. a Saints Hotel, get myself a bath, and get myself a new change of clothes. Oh, my my, my good city clothes are ruined now, covered in smud. You know what smud is, Next time, Ed? Oh, yes, yes, I, yes, I, I do. Game, you know, it's a combination of shit and mud. Um, you know, especially they got some fun. really good cleaners in the uh, Valentine bathhouse. They could probably help get yeah, that stuff I right out. Uh, they, I'm feeling well. I want to take my they leave here. I get my horse in the stable. Poor what? thing. Poor thing. Scared of ropes. Before you go, well, let me just make sure you got the money there for the bath. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you for. Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Going out of your way to make sure that this That should be Mr. Brown. Uh, enough to make sure they get a tip too. Thank you very much. Uh, not a word, Ed. Uh, well, later today, we can, we can all laugh about this uh, in better moods over over a film. I'll have my uh, tent there uh, showing films here shortly, maybe in an hour or so, if not sooner. That sounds like a lovely time. Mm -hmm. now, now, let me get me uh, cleaned off of this schmud and put my horse where it belongs. Come on, now. Come on. Can I, can I play with you? Um, no, I'm sorry. Oh, do you have something shiny? 
Simply Redman, good day to you from the AU. What systems are you on? I'm the PC. Alright, now you stay right here, alright. I made twenty dollars getting the schmud off of me. Do you, do you know what this ain't schmud? It because I just it was going around the circle and continued to. I'm damn there to west, I tell you. One minute you're on your horse, the next minute you're in the smud up to your knees. Covered in it. What is wrong with this place? Just having a bit of fun, they say, but they're gonna stand there. I'm my own person. I must agree to join in that fun. I was not having fun myself. In fact, I was mightily pissed. I thought it was an NPC, I couldn't tell for a second. Good evening.
miss. Put that twenty dollars in the theater or into the bank. Let me hold on to me for a minute. Good evening. I'm talking way too loud. <laughs> I just remembered. Maybe check out that other tip that came in from up there as well. That was a little earlier. Howdy. Good, now, uh, good evening, folks. Uh, if you law uh, aren't too busy later, I'm be putting on a film here in town over at the small tent uh, down the road there. If you're interested in coming to the moving picture this morning when the light comes up. Sounds good. In the tent. In the movie tent down this way, next to the tents. Okay. What's your name? My name's Frank Brower, pleasure. Frank Brower, it's nice to meet you. I'm uh, Finnegan Huxley, or you can call me Huxley or Finn. Well, Finnegan, I appreciate you uh, going a little solve that issue I had right quick. And I'm happy that one of the ne'er to wells was willing to pay for his uh, friend's um, misdeeds. Oh, the um, uh, Cole was? Mm -hmm. On the overalls? Yes, you really. Cole is a good person. I uh, met him yesterday. We spent some time together in the frontier. Well, it doesn't look good lads. He's willing to uh, make up for mistakes, that is. Not everyone does that yep. these days. Well, you're right about that. Lee, you talking mm -hmm. about the one from Nate Casey or something else? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, got it. Yeah, I'll take a look. All right, you folks are very yeah. busy. I'll give you guys a good space. Uh, take care. Don't okay, thank you. you. Take care. Get him in your space.
I want to watch their uh, their uh, preview video on the on the thing. They had a teaser. And they're, they're doing a lot of things. Hey. The theaters were kind of glitching out for a bit. Looks like they fixed it. How to make Dr. Ed. Yeah. Moving pictures will be starting here at dawn this morning. You folks are interested to ten dollars per person, of course. Oh, alrighty. What is today's uh, moving pictures name? I think today we'll be just showing uh, ones from the cross and uh, world's strongest man, uh, natures of winter, and things of that sort. Huh? One's on the usual oh, oh, uh, me. I love world's strongest man. I'm sure okay, all your uh, router friends here will be quite interested in seeing a moving picture. What's that? All I wanted to say that we wanted to play a game and then he started choking me. Oh. Sir, so why did you choke, puppet? He oh, is I'm but so a sorry. tiny creature. I had a little bit of a muscle thing. I don't know if it's because of my injuries, but yeah, I just accidentally popped her in the oh. face. I, after I, punched him. Oh. I see. Well, Puppet, he apologized. Yeah, I think that's fair. Good. Yeah, you want to play a game now? Uh, what, what is this game? The rope game. Oh, we were thinking about, about doing a lasso dueling. Yeah. That sounds okay. fun. It's a well, you folks don't have fun of that. Uh, I'll make sure I avoid potentially being roped by accident. I do not want to play this game. I like to stay clean and uh, not drag we'll to the move, ground. We'll move it over out of the way. So that way it's not in the middle of the street, too. Yeah, I'll keep myself far away from this for sure. But uh, moving pictures That's start it. this morning uh, at dawn. So if you're interested, uh, wait, the wait, tent wait. is on down there. Oh, All get, right. Get, what, uh, why would you do <laughs> such a thing? I do not... I, you know how much I paid for this Puppet. in St. Denis? I spent a fortune on this outfit here. Custom made to my own liking. Oh, how I would you do such a horrible thing? <laughs> Just because some like to oh. crawl through shit mud it's doesn't mean fun, others. Fun. Jesus Christ. Dang. You know, I, 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 I fear I would never understand uh, why you find yourself covered in shmud and enjoying it. So well, this is where, this is where yeah. I make my leave then, because I have other folks to uh, attend oh, to. Mr. Brown, yeah. it's a... Uh... Don't mind her. It's uh, you know I I am a man of science myself, What's and in our in our field, uh, you have to get your hands dirty in order to uh, carry out said science. Oh. So I personally don't mind, but I understand uh, I understand your inclination to to stay clean. Well, hopefully, uh, as men of science, uh, maybe you might uh, take a look at what some of those folks are doing up in those. Uh... There's wards they have going on where they can fix a man's mind or something. Maybe you might oh. be able to help out these individuals. Who knows? What if I don't have a room? I, I heard modern science is I'm... doing wonders. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I myself uh, conduct some, uh, my, some, some of that Daniel? on my own. I'm not affiliated with any group, but I have been experimenting, yes. Well, maybe uh, if they're around you long enough, some of your uh, modern... Civilized uh, nature will nice also uh, 
wipe off upon them as okay. well. Maybe next uh, time I'll see you folks, she'll be I walking upright. Could, could get a and rope, huh? uh, not throwing smut everywhere and swimming in it. Nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Mr. Brower, it's all also important to, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun Thanks, every Mr. now and then. Well, I That's do have life's fun, about. but I do not enjoy rolling around in smud personally. I enjoy the final things. Thanks. I know how to have fun. Trust me, Doctor. Oh, wow. Sometimes you have to join me down at the uh, the boat over at St. Denis. My friend Captain Thatcher runs it, and it is uh, superb, I say the least. That sounds like an excellent time. It's your ring. You take care. I I'm gonna get all this dreadful rain and get underneath right. the cover here. How you doing, silly weapon? Welcome back. How you doing? I'm gonna have some fun today. Uh, uh, pardon me, miss. S excuse me. Can I have a moment of your time, if you wouldn't mind? Can we at least get out the rain? I know what it's actually. Uh, we mu mu must. Pardon me. Uh, losing my words. We both, both must stay dry. Yes, sir. I was letting you know uh, at dawn over by the uh, the picture tent, I am running some moving pictures here. If you're interested in you and your friends, uh, uh, are willing to attend. $10 per person. We'll be showing uh, four films. Well, very kind offer. If I uh, find my friends, I'll be sure to let you know. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, we'll be starting here at dawn, but I'll probably have some more showings throughout the uh, the day as well. Good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for hearing my words. <laughs> no problem. You take care. Likewise. <laughs> I'm centering a lot of this character lately, and it's a little annoying, but it kind of flows with him well enough as well. Uh, part of me there, sir. Can I have a moment of your time if you don't mind? Sure. I just want to let you How know help you? there's a good thing going on today. At dawn, my moving pictures tent over there will be uh, showing some films if you're interested. Uh, Four films for the price of ten dollars. Well, we'll see. Uh, I might have some stuff I got to do, but uh, if I'm free, I might stop by. I'm oh, not a worries, not a worries. But uh, I tell you, friends, and uh, if you have some time, uh, moving pictures a marvelous way to relax and just take in the scenery for a bit. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I got the free time I might show up for there. All right. Take care. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Yep. Have a lovely Thank evening. Thank you. Morning. Doing well. La Dina. Are there any newspaper? 
catch up with things. I haven't played a lot recently. Time flies. It's not like I'm hiding from you. I live in a different world. You live in this outlaw world. You live in, I just live in towns. Murder is not justice. Associated Press. Chief Hummingbird murdered uh, Mason James. But not alone. We, all, we now know there were two accomplices. Nathan Thompson and Isla White. Who were instrumental in his in this homicide. She says, but there are more White and, and who is Hummingbird's spouse. Not only helped facilitate the murderous plot, but worse, allowed her people to take off. The fall alone in desperate attempt to keep Ranger Poncho, which was later stripped from her when the whole truth was discovered. Side. I like to stand right here and just a cigar in hand and look like a cool guy. It's morning and moving pictures are starting. Gotta make some of that money back I've spent. Gambling. I could have spent a lot of money gambling. I'll be right back. Once one quick thing. Said better done. Here we go. Got myself a beverage. Got myself a beverage. You gotta have myself a time. Well, careful up there. That thing is not stable. I built it up with my own hands, and I'm no uh, craftsman. Please, what are you doing here? This is my moving picture thing. I'm showing pictures this morning. Yeah, what? pictures I'm can't done. move. They can if you oh. watch on this screen. No. Oh, I saw it just. I've me. seen the pictures. They don't. They don't move. Well, let me tell you, I have special moving pictures, and if you ain't never seen them before, you will be amazed and stunned by the quality at which they move, my friend. What is oh, the name? You, you don't mind me asking. Something amazing too. Does it involve schmud? No! Come with us! Well, I can't She's throw a knife at me. I, I have to stand here because um, well, I'm waiting for customers. Fine. Yeah. Oh, I well, understand. Are you trying to see a moving no, picture, no, perhaps? I'll get them all in there in a little bit. That okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Okay, you ready? Wait, all right. Where's Dr. Eddie? Where's... Come Oh, he's cooking up his dummy. Oh, he's over there. He's whoa, over whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Don't go throwing a knife at my she's tent She's going to throw a knife here. at me. It's going to be fun. Watch. Well, what's going to go through my tent and to my... Um, see, I, I oh, paid for this lot right here. There. And uh, if it starts raining, I'll have a hole in my tent There's, that I'll have to patch. Make sure that you won't step happen. back away from where he's standing oh, so you don't get hit. Happen. All right, just careful. Lord All knows. All right, you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I trust and... you. <laughs> Holy... That, 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 that's some skill oh, right there. I'd say, damn. Wow. Well, that actually was very exciting to see, I, I'd say. Wow. My heart is pumping. 
Ah, uh, so is mine. I'm just eating. watching. That makes me wonder, in the process of getting them skills, <laughs> I'm gonna poke Ranger. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me. There you go. My shiny knife. Oh, just kidding. I thought he did. Never mind. <gasps> I, you uh, lied to me. Oh, oh, I'll get some more. Do you also want to? Do you want to also see me doing a snake? I'm a snake. Uh, sure. I might as well see you as a snake now. Oh, oh my God. Ice. What, 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 what is this woman's name again? Her name is Puppet. Puppet, have you ever thought about performing in a circus by any chance? I, I am a circus. I'm part of the circus. Well, there's a circus in town. Where's it at? Uh, over there. We are literally over that. here in the tent. We've been living here for several weeks already. So you're, you're a gymnastic uh, knife throwing. A cravat knife throwing oh, a God, singer. I thought I was going to die there. Hmm. Well, if, ever, yeah. if the circus is ever uh, well, having a, a circus night, uh, performing entertainment, I'm going to see it with my own eyes, I'm sure. Yeah, you want to hear me singing, but you need to pay. Well, uh, I, I'm currently uh, busy at the moment. See, I'm trying to get my uh, no, you're not. moving you're pictures going this morning. And, being bore, and being boring, you might as well just listen to me singing and give me some money. I will. You're in competition okay. of me right now, considering that I'm also trying to make money myself right over here. That's competition. <gasps> you want to listen to me and give me money? Or something shiny? For a, for a five dollars. Oh, okay. He's a nice man. I think we should let him watch. He doesn't need to watch. <laughs> the behind bush is going to pay. Competition. competition. I'm a businessman after all. I can't have competition right here on my tent block. Well, I wonder what you folks are doing over there. I'm just hanging out next to my property, my tent here, you know, waiting for business to come my way to show me a picture. But I just had an idea, puppy. I'm near you. Puppy, Hello. what if you got an audience together and I let you use my tent to play your music for a percentage of the sales? Don't listen to it. What do you think about that? I like outside. From a businessman to a businesswoman. Play but sometimes old folks gotta sit down, don't they? And they can't sit on the ground all too easy. And I got chairs inside. In the outside, you have fresh air. Anyone can listen to my kids. You just gotta come and and help me read some some money, so I won't die because I don't have home. Why well, here? Home is where you lay your head. If that's all not all too true.
Well, so I'm definitely beautiful. surprised by the change yeah, of tune right. there. I, I should definitely throw you uh, some money your way for your for your uh, yeah, your performance. I told, you. I told you. Well, some some folks like myself have to see it to believe it. Sometimes this is the way it is. Here you go, puppy. Money. What do you mean? It was just ah. all right. It was good. All right. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, look at you. You two are becoming friends. Wait, does that mean we get money from friends? Because... Wait, did cause I get just... money from you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we get all the... from him? Yeah, let's get all the money from him. We're all friends. That's what friends do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask for money from him. Okay. Uh, whoa, hey, mister. Whoa, whoa, can whoa, I have some money? I, I, I don't have money just to hand out for nothing. You see... I I I I'm, I keep my money very close to myself. See, she did a good performance there, and I feared it was fair trade there. As you can understand, well, I don't. I don't. Well, unless you want to write out a contract where I, I lend you money as a loan, and you have to pay it back in a, a courteous time. So that's that's how I lend out money to friends. Well, obviously you weren't paying enough attention because I was I was dancing really really nicely. Yeah. Okay. I was a part of the so performance. Cool. Well, 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 that's that's pretty good that's you can't just insert yourself as part of the performance without announcing you all. That would be uh, Chuckery, oh, Connery. But I, I, I announced them. That's a part of the show. Well, if I didn't hear, I didn't hear then, unfortunately. And I can't just give out uh, money to everyone who comes asking me, man. And I'd be a so broke man. So far over there at the beginning of the performance, you just didn't hear the announcement, huh? Mm -mm. Is your hearing bad, mister? Well, I think when it comes to lending money, it can be quite, quite bad. <laughs> I guess. I don't think that's funny. Well, I find it Who here wants to go cause... see these moving pictures, by the way? I figured I'd want to go in there and see them because I ain't never seen them before. I, I must say the moving pictures are quite, uh, quite a watch. Yes, Dr. Egg can speak uh, first-hand experience. Uh, speaking of, I'm going to get back to my, my station there just in case anyone wants to do see a moving picture. Oh. Sorry, you tapped on my back? Yeah, that was me. I was trying to reach out just as you walked away. Hop, 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 hop. What? 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 Nothing. 
I figured it, we could all go and just see Perfect. the moving picture all together. And that covers it. Yes, sure. Come on outside then. Just see and make yourself comfortable. We're going to chill the world's strongest man up first. It is a delight for sure. And now, um, prepare your eyes for something special. I don't know how I feel about this. Pictures don't move. Come on now, sit down, sit down. I have a bit of an announcement to make first to prepare some of the newcomers here for what moving pictures behold. What to expect. Okay. Are you sure they're not going to hurt me? I, I'm, I'm most sure. I haven't had any injuries in all the moving pictures I've shown. In fact, I've shown many. I've probably shown over 100 now. Okay. Now, I show one first. It can look very real. For example, if a train is coming towards you on the moving picture screen, it's not really going to come out of the screen. It is an illusion of the How mind. do you know that, though? It's it's moving. Y yes, but it won't come out of the screen. Why if a, if a fella is pointing a revolver, doesn't mean it's going to shoot through the screen. Now, it's an illusion. It's its its, its own world, if you say so yourself. Um, now, for the first film tonight, we'll be showing the world's strongest man. And you will be amazed by his feats of strength none other than any other man could even accomplish or wish to come close to. Are the people's souls in this moving picture? No, it's science. Oh. Since the souls are trapped in the, in the screen. I'm scared. What does that say? Hey, it's the story of the world's strongest man. Why is he doing that? It, it's about Ivan. Oh, look at that. He is so powerful. The hammer did nothing. <laughs> A petticoat of chains cannot restrain him. Witness the impenetrable coolness in which he dispatches cannon fire. Well, now I know that's not real. He would be Watch as he exhibits strength very much like a locomotive. I wonder what kind of tonics he's been taking. This isn't real. Time for a quick respite with his favorite fortified tonic. I knew it. Bulldogs, let's brand clam juice. I heard that sold inside the uh, market over here inside uh, Valentine, the general store. Oh, really? Hmm. His pack horse poses a little challenge for our hero. Oh dear, such a promotion is the source of the horse's constitution. <laughs> such a dash of spectacle is surely irresistible. Now it's like the streets of Valentine. Now oh, it's his lady love. You, Madame Shell, soar like the majestic eagle. The end. What? Is that one of them cannibals I heard of near tall trees? Now, give me a moment, ladies and gentlemen, to switch out the film here, which takes me a minute. You know, I've seen I've seen this moving picture before, but I didn't I didn't know it had a sad ending. I forgot. Why? I, if I remember right, last time, Doctor Ed, you had walked out to smoke a cigarette during that part. Oh yes, yes.
Oh my, I've got this thing on. Hey, uh, sometimes it just takes a. Here we go. Okay, I'm holding the bag. I think you're gonna break it. <laughs> Don't break it, otherwise you will be left without money. <laughs> So this is a finicky machine. This next film is called Sketching for Sweetheart. What does sketching mean? Where does it come from? I think I've seen that lady before. Well, that hand is just out of control. Mm. He's dirty. This is yeah. getting out of hand. Yeah. He's so what dirty. Is, Look at it. But he said, "Cut his head." Cut his <laughs> out head. Cut his head. Cut his head. <laughs> and my oh, now he's being nice, giving her chocolates. Your collection? Wait, you have a collection? He, yeah, he gave me one. Uh, Cole gave me one earlier. I have a collection now. I'm also collecting hands. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm gone. Oh, yeah. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> Come on. It's how realistic. Right in his face. Right in his fucking face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> the end. Uh, let me just change up the film here again. It always takes me a moment. <laughs> so wonderful. I just want somebody to die. Aww. Oh, well, it wasn't dying? real. It wasn't real. It was uh, it's a piece of fiction. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it, cool? Yeah, that was pretty funny at the end. Yeah, it's a wing of blood and spill everywhere. <laughs> yeah, oh. it was dripping all over the page. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine back here. I'm fine. One second. Oh my God. I really like this color red. What is your favorite color? Think of it bright like a color red with what you can paint. Ladies and gentlemen, this one here is a. Uh, yeah. educational film about the world we live in and places far off in different parts and corners of the earth. I'll show you saviors and savages. Saviors and this one has a, has, has a speaking voice. Wait, who's, is it you talking in the back here, sir? No, no, it's coming from uh, yes. from the a moving of picture world itself. Populated by unwashed savages that don't have the decency to cover their reproductive organs. First, to jolly old England, you may wonder why, when you meet a British person, they have tiny red eyes, big ears, and long noses. We can now reveal the truth. Since the opening of the Underground Railroad system <laughs> like 30 that, yeah. years ago, the entire of London has moved beneath the earth. Just think of the joy children must feel. Hey, I'm from the city. I'm from San Diego. by rain or refinery smoke. They are a dignified people, living among stalagmites okay. in their dainty hats. They are rats. Look at them. They have That's an him. underground king who worships an they are playing underground badminton. garden gnome. Have any of you been to New York City? No. It seems like the whole world is ending up on that tiny island. Now there's Lady Liberty, a marvelous statue. To welcome all the Irish people moving to our great country after all those potato problems. They are welcomed by tourists who toss potatoes. potatoes out of the head of that lady. In New York City, they are making buildings so high, one day you can walk to the moon for a picnic. Wouldn't that be grand? It's true. Now... We spoke of that unwashed statue. It was a gift from France. How do you think France paid for such a gift? 
Want a prostitution? Selling of wine and horse meat? No, sir. I'm here to tell you that underneath the streets of Paris, they have discovered black gold. That's right. And a few years ago, Gustav Eiffel of the Eiffel Oil Company built the tallest oil derrick in the world. Yes, all around Paris, you will find that thick business. It ignites like brandy, which is why I want more blood. Instagram drink it as an aperitif to aid digestion. Mm. The women of France Where is are the blood? dainty and fair of skin. Partially, because they use that blood? food oil to bathe in, anointing and greasing their yes. bodies. Often before committing yeah, it is. I don't want to know where Adam this man will be playing a film about scary things. Visit the streets of Italy, scary and there is literally nobody left. The churches are empty. No there is nobody drinking buddy. tiny coffees and slurping spaghetti in the streets. The Italians have never been known for good architecture, and their crooked buildings are falling over. Where have all the hairy women and men gone? Where are them Italians? It is one of the world's where great are them mysteries. Italians? You may have heard talk of a horseless carriage being invented, powered by whale oil, vapors, or demons. Ironically, yeah. that is a myth. What is more exciting, the Germans have developed a mechanized horse that never needs to eat or sleep. It is a marvel of invention and is intended to facilitate the German army when it invades France or Russia in their campaign to spread the gastronomical wonders of low-quality beer, sausages, and sauerkraut. They love cabbage. But other than America, where we have plenty of room, it is so crowded in Europe that they are racing to set up a new country at the North Pole, where they can dine on the delicacy of frozen fish, penguins, and polar bears. Imagine... Just keep it down. Don't watch never the movie. Hot. You don't sweat while toiling in the fields. And ice is much <laughs> cheaper there. So I predict crazy. that someday people of all nations will join hands at the North Pole wearing furs and eating fish. My next adventure will be to visit Egypt, where I hear they live in giant triangles and talk in a Chinese like language of birds and eyes and squiggly lines. And they worship cats. Which is a bit worrisome and unsavory. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on these fantastic journeys. Finally. All right, our next film, once I get it on the reel here, is a horror story. Oh, I like horror. Yes. It's about a ghost up in Annisburg. Very real. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, show me all the horrors. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for a ghost story that takes place in Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg? That's, that, that's not too far from here. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Hattiesburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know. Oh, that looks scary already. A girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the when south. When does it get scary? From west neither. Then they heard a low moaning sound. What a terrible noise. She said all the truth. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastise. Ah, shenanigans. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton. She said, instead of That's not scary. protection, you go carry on acting foolish and frisk like the queen cried distant. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like 
Can't stop up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, you see, noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The carcassity grew closer. It's a lot of people. And through the fog, they could make out the shape of ghost horses. Oh, no. <laughs> a spectral army, eh? Okay, that's kind of creepy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he's dead! <laughs> oh, he's alive. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forest. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. She returned home. She told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight. For the demonic king. He's holding a dead person's the head. People erupted in fright <laughs> and dismay until one dollar came forth and accused her of witchcraft. <gasps> she raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. Burn so the witch. she too must perish. <laughs> and that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods in case the English lurk there and you. That is quite a horror tale. I don't, I don't like that one. That, that one was that wasn't scary. very No, it wasn't scary. Oh, yeah? Wasn't? Ladies and gentlemen. Was it? I'm glad you came on through to see my moving pictures. <gasps> that is the end of our films tonight. Thank you very much for coming on through. Keep your eyes peeled for the next film that might be coming on through. By the way, I do direct my own films as well. I did not show you them tonight, but uh, my next showings I'll probably be showing on Friday at some point in the day, and I'll be showing Daddy Boy Love Story. Uh, I've seen that one. Yes, it's very good. Yes, yes. Um, it is. The Mysteries of Sean Mountain. And uh, Devil's Whiskey and uh, Ricky's Bad Luck Day. The very old Ricky who runs the general store here in town. Okay. Mm. Okay. That sounds like a lot yeah, of fun. Right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evenings here. Uh, if if you see me in the saloon, uh, have a drink with me. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> okay. working this machine. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely moving pictures. That's it. Hey. Whoa, shit, shit, shit. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, damn. Wow, damn. There's no need for guns here. Stop this immediately. Oh, he's doing that. That was a fake. Oh. <laughs> Got you. Dear God, I, really my, my skin you. rose. <laughs> Get some dirt into your face. Oh. I'm sorry. I got you, guys. Yeah, he had me going there for sure. That was uh, quite horrific. Is we gotta be careful doing stuff oh, like that. Cause... People are people are affected by these moving pictures. I I fear. Oh, uh, uh, maybe sometimes. Is that Abner? I remember you, Abner. Ah, how are you? Do you remember me? 
Uh, could you remind me of your name, please? Uh, Frank Brower. You uh, came out to help me out with a moving picture a while back. Don't you remember? I was talking about that the other day. I remember that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I remember that. I'm glad to hear you. It was good to see you. I'm actually uh, about to direct a new film here at some point. It's Were be- you the one that was leaving up uh, letters in the uh, in the uh, the telegrams office for for things? I, if it was recently, it was not me whatsoever. I haven't uh, put out any uh, notifications. Was this fella in your movies? Well, Abner uh, actually helped out with my first film, Danny Boy Love Story. Yeah, See? I remember that. Mm-hmm. I'd, uh, I'd love to help out again. Yeah, you just gotta let me know when and where, and I will. Uh, I will. I will uh, be there. Sounds good. I will first have an audition put into the paper, and we'll get people Absolutely. together. I will make a film about some ne'er do well outlaws who have kidnapped me once. It'll be a film about my own life. Oh, okay. Well, let me know when the auditions are, and I would love to audition again. Sounds good. Sounds, it sounds boring. Well, you've never. We been saw on the one. We saw one that had blood in it. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. A girl, a girl shot somebody. It was it was somebody that drew her, and then uh, she shot him, and he died. And we saw a lot of blood. What well, I can assure you, the film about myself coming up here involves outlaws getting a shootout of the law, and there's gunfire back and forth, and it's Whoa. insane. I have a gun to my head as well by the notorious uh, Jack Kettleman. Are you gonna do it for real? Well, inside the film, it's acting, so it's not real. So the guns either we miss on purpose or we shoot blanks. Wow. Dude, how do you how do you put something blank in a gun? It's not going to shoot nothing. Well, it's, you put the cartridge in at the gunpowder, but you don't put a projectile on the end that comes off the bullet when it shoots. So it's more like a puff of smoke. That sounds made up. Well, you should talk to a gunsmith. They can explain it better than I can. Well, regardless, just let me know when the auditions are, and I will. Uh, I would love to audition and help you out with the uh, the film in any way. Well, sure, for real, uh, uh, Abner, and uh, I'll put, be putting out a, an ad on the paper, and I'll make sure I advertise it about a week in advance so that people have plenty of time to uh, learn and hear about it as hmm. well. Okay, sounds good. I'll keep an eye and an ear and everything else out for it. You take care. Okay, bye. I'm going myself. I'm sorry for making you angry. What? No, I don't need to borrow the dress, Kate. I'll be all right. I'm just going for number one. Oh, Lord. Kate, we should give your, um... Telegram number to the people who um plan that Guam tournament. All right, yeah, that sounds good. Howdy, Mister. I do nice sir. Hope you have a lovely evening. Yeah, I am. Anything I can get for you? I get a, uh, okay. a week beer, tournament. please. Yes, you can. What? Yeah, it's a high stakes game that they do in poker or in Guam once a month. So we're quite a distance to travel for a game of poker. Yeah, what's the uh, buy-in? Uh, usually it's a thousand dollars plus something of value, like um the first time, it was a gun that was customized to over a thousand dollars. The second time was the spare. horse that you use the most. Oh, sorry, about like that. your main uh, horse. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's um, this good. time I believe it's a long arm, so it's like uh essentially like two grand. This sounds yeah. like uh, a game for folks who are well off for themselves and in the yeah. Why, why, Guam? It sounds quite risky to go there about uh, the law around to protect you if uh, someone tries to rob the game or something. Well, that's the point. They have the leaders of all the gangs there, and then they also have a deputy that comes and plays. Oh, so they have their own security in a sense. It's a, uh, to insure it, so everyone brings their boys or something like that? Make sure. Well, you're only allowed to bring a couple people, but, I mean, if you're going to, Rob a game like game like uh, a game like that. I think you're asking in the future for a lot of problems. I can only imagine uh, 
only someone insane or not doing? understand the, 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 oh, no the full picture there. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Someone you might have, um, Arthur, if you take a thousand dollars off each one of those dead. people, you might end up having well, Darlene, uh, well, the law and then like six other okay. people okay. after gangs after you. You'd end up dead in a week. There'd be no points in the money. You would be able to spend it faster now. True, <laughs> true. What's your name? My name's Frank Brown. Pleasure. Hello, I'm Jade. Nice to meet you, Jade. Aren't you the movie fella? Yes, I am. Movie yeah, I met you fella? a long time ago. I'm a director. I run the moving pictures here in the crossing. Ooh. In fact, I'm preparing myself for a new film coming up here soon. Uh, I, I don't have auditions planned yet, but I've talked to the paper to um, set something together. But uh, I'm uh, currently in the process of writing a script for a new film. Oh, that's interesting. Fortunately, yeah, unfortunately as well, it's about uh, something that happened in my life. See, I was, I've been taken hostage a few times by ne'er do wells. And I figured I'd, mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell a story of my my survival through such, such, such an event. Oh, there you go. I was taking that would be five interesting. Times last month. Mm -hmm. Five times. Yep. Hey, Bishop. Hey, what can I get for you, Bishop? Uh, you know, I will take a stew. Just a I stew. I got you. Unfortunately, for a man behind the bar with the bank being right across the street, you tend to become a prime candidate for uh, uh, kidnappers for robberies. It's that, and it's also, too, when they come in here, I'm always the prettiest Hello. person here, so their eyes always go to me first. Well, that might be a good and bad thing. They're the ladies, okay. but attracted okay. by netherwells. Uh, I'm not trouble. Oh, by the way, uh, Kylie, have we talked to Kate? Yeah, Kylie, yeah. have you talked to me? What? You just reminded me. All right, get on my calendar. What? Now, if you folks are interested at dawn uh, this morning, I'll be showing some more uh, moving pictures over at my tent there, uh, just around the corner. Yeah, that sounds awesome. How much are you charging for that? Uh, Ten dollars per person at the tent. Howdy, howdy. You know, all right, all right. Y'all haven't gotten your gun officiated as a proper wedding. Y'all should go ahead and do so now. <clears throat> Thank you. Do what? Officiate your gun wedding. You know, your what? sidearm, your traveling companion, the one that you travel with along and along. Everything okay? Days Wait, are you saying folks are um, marrying their guns now? Oh, oh, that day is, uh -oh. that day is. It's, it's a new improved is, thing that people are doing now. Now, if I, if I understand, marriage is it's supposed to be between people oh, and not, goes, not a gun. Oh, it goes two oh, ways, no. though. I mean, you, you know, you use Three. a finger on your gun, you use a finger on your husband or wife. I mean, come on. And you were able to get away? It's just sort of. It's the same thing. Now, who's, no who's problem, the priest who officiates yeah. such a, 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 a marriage? Oh, that would be me. I'm Jericho. Jericho gun, Jericho papa gun, papa gun, father of guns oh. and armaments. I probably made a weapon that you probably oh, shot with your finger a long time ago. Well, well, I bought my guns from the Taipan, <sighs> which uh, they make their guns. Oh, darn. Ain't nothing wrong with competition. I need therapy now, is that? Now, well, um, do you, do you fairly commonly get uh, customers for this officiation of, of man and do gun? A woman and oh, gun. Oh, you're damn right I do. You're damn right I do. How, how many, I'm curious, you don't mind me prying. How many folks have you had so far uh, marry their guns? Well, I do keep Thank a personal so quota. I do at yeah. least officiate five people in this fine crossing every day. But in total, uh, I believe last when my manager Butch told me, he said that we're up to about 10,242 people. Now, I have a question. Has there ever been an accident so you in, in a, uh, like, was another gun like jealous, perhaps? Oh, oh, yeah, of course, you know, they, uh, guns come in many shapes and sizes, partner. You know, you got small guns, like little this. guns, big guns. They big fucking guns. We call those the BFGs. Those are special cases. Yeah, that we have that? Uh, certain people deal with. And then there's also the rare the case of uh, well, they would not stop. people Once wanting. Once they cross the river, they change the mind. People want uh, weapon conversions. Jeez. Uh, we call that a rare case because yeah, uh, like, people do get jealous. Now, uh, when, you know, in uh, yeah, uh, know a wedding between a man and a woman, right? You would at kiss at the end, right? Of course. Do you kiss your gun? Damn right you do. It's part of the ten gun principles that you gotta follow. 
Do you put a ring on and your then, gun as well? Oh, damn right yeah, you do. I've been lucky, but uh -huh. I guess I was about to run Comes out. Comes with a little chain and everything. You gotta keep with your gun with you at all times. I mean, y'all are partner in crimes till death do you part. Do you do you ever marry man, woman, man, and gun at the same time? Oh yes, Shoot polygamy. Polygamy is fine. I mean, you know, in my opinion. I'm Hazel. Why That's would you keep one kid. when you could have gun? You know what I mean? What if guns, guns, guns being plural? So what if two guns, guns want to marry each other? Like if you have two dual, dual pistols uh, that are like no, really close uh, to each other. I mean, I don't judge. People got to do what they got to do. I got you. Two guns want to marry each other. Who am I to tell them they can't be? How long you been around? All right, here's a here's a confusing one. How's this ever happened? A man and a woman wanted to marry each other, but the guns wanted to marry each other as well, but marry the man and the woman at the same time as well. So it's like more than marry. All right, perfect. No, I'm, I'm just curious. I've never, I've never heard right. of this thing before, and it, it must be very new, isn't it? Uh, you know, I'm. Nah, you know, I try. I tried women once yeah, upon a spell, and I realized it's good. It's good. And I realized some things, and I'll tell you one thing: a gun ain't never gonna lie to you. A gun ain't never gonna oh, steal from you. A gun ain't never gonna leave. You, you ever been to Gorma? That sounds like, if you don't right, mind me it, saying, you've had like some hardship in your past, you. sir. Oh no, I ain't no such thing as hardship. Experience is what I call it. They're throwing tents at me. I mean, they're throwing knives at me. I throw tents at you. Um, I don't know if I have any more questions. I'm, I'm perplexed to say the least. But uh, it's part of the. Uh, well, I'm afraid I have one question for you, partner. Oh, what that? So if y'all want to go you see, you and your gun be officiated. Right no, no, I don't uh, intend on marrying my right my gun. Yeah, she's really good at it. Oh, come on now, honey. You gotta be married to your gun now. It's part of you. It's part of your life. My gun likes to sit in its uh, holster and uh, stay there. It's quite independent. Oh, it's all right. I understand. Uh, I know. I hope y'all don't mind. Uh, I would love to carry my firearm around here, but unfortunately, yeah, yeah. I'd be catching my 457th brandishing charge if I, I do not. so. I, I, I cannot. I, I, my gun good. has an uncut tip. Well, well, hell, you're so close to 500. Why not do it 43 more times? He's well, your damn brother. right. I'm Gideon? okay with it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, 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 aren't these your brother? I just don't, I, yeah, if you yeah, don't I tell nobody, I, I won't tell fella. nobody. I don't make it a habit to go around uh, reporting the law for gun brandishing, you know? Damn, damn right. Damn right. Damn right. What's the name no, that, that thing isn't loaded, yeah, is it, right? Because nice you, you are going around that trigger quite quickly. Uh-huh. Nice yeah. to meet you there, fella. My name's Jericho. Jericho Gun. Jericho Papa Gun. Father of guns and armaments are once upon a spell. De facto mayor of Rose. Another so, uh, I make guns, I breed guns, I, I, I'm wait, 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 wait. guns. I did have a question earlier. Do you sleep with your gun? Well, I think it's necessary. You know, enrichment for the gun, making it feel loved, making it feel special. I mean, for Christ's sake, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, you know, you never know when you might have to take a life with the gun. You don't ever think about what it Let's does for the gun. For, for example, like if right. a man or a woman gets married, they have to, um, uh, uh, you know, finish the, oh, well, the yeah, ceremony yeah, at the end of the night, right? They, they's got to copulate and birth on a new gun. I get it, I get it. What's the name there, fella, in the gray suit? Uh, my, my name's Frank Brown, pleasure. Frank, pleasure it is, Shea Murphy. That's me, Shea Murphy. Uh, have you recognized me by by any chance? Is that, is that why you ask, or are you just curious? I've met you before, Frank, very, very long time ago, when you used to run the, the moving pictures, and I haven't seen you in quite some time. I don't suppose you're still running them, are you? I am. It's just unfortunately, sometimes I find myself quite preoccupied with other uh, business uh, ventures as well. No, but, understandable, uh, understandable. I look forward to getting my films together, but I'm in the process of writing a new script for a brand new film. And once that gets going, I think I'll be in full force. I think my biggest issue, though, has been trying to find staff to run films on my behalf during my absence. It seems like I never hire someone more than a day, and then they're off and gone again. Hmm. Well, it's great to see you back around, uh, Mr. Bauer. Brower? Bauer? Uh, Brower. Uh, Brower. Brower. Brower, yes. Uh, pe people call me Bauer all the time. It rolls off easier, but I understand. Brower Brower is my last name. Brower. Easy enough. In fact, uh, it's dawn here, and I'm running some more moving pictures here over at the tent. I almost lost track of time. So if you folks want to see a moving picture, it'll be $10 per person. Tell your friends, tell your family. I must get going before uh, people arrive to the tent before I do. All right. You can have some coffee. Uh, 
Moving pictures starting right now, ten dollars per person. Moving pictures starting right now over at the tent down the road to the left of the bathhouse. Moving pictures starting right now, ten dollars per person. I got hit by a donkey. What a jackass. I know. And my love did it to me. Can you believe it? That's just rude. I was standing still and she came from out of nowhere. And just... Oh, well, I forgot that one is injured, so she has to walk. Uh, one hey, I just got to make sure the inside of the tent is in. You empty. need to relax, Miss Bird. I've done this with Johannes, but I threw the knives at him. Johannes? Yeah, I've met him. Yeah, Johannes and uh, Ivan and uh, Trixie, I believe. Oh, and I met Grim as well. Oh, this Kai right there. I think the town might be a little dusty right now. How you doing there, folks? Hello. It's uh, just ten dollars per person for the films. Oh, ten dollars. I have eight dollars. Hey, come behind here so you can watch the knives thrown at me. Hello. You guys are in for a real treat. This is gonna be great. All right, shall I put my hands up? Well, well, come on now. You should try to find a, a tree or something that doesn't involve my my, uh, my tent right next to it, like I said earlier. Hey, what about what if I do this? What? 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 Oh, you want to dance? You want to risk your life even more? <laughs> oh, my God. God. Well, I haven't seen her hit anybody uh, yet, yeah, but uh, you, could, you could be the first. <laughs> oh, see? Jesus. Okay. Okay. One more. Oh. <laughs> Either you're quite lucky or she's quite skilled. <laughs> I think it's a bit of both. Uh, <laughs> she's the best. Um, nobody the best, but... Um... I got it. You're too good at this. <laughs> there we go. so that was great. That was a great show. That was great. Again. Yeah, you can also give me some teeth, or I can sing you a song for money. Wait, what? Uh, well, a uh, puppet. Next time, you oh, you, you ought to use that teeth. tree Thanks. right over there. You know, just. <laughs> Because uh, just give me some of your teeth, please. You already put a lot of holes in my yes, in my teeth. in my wood ticket no. booth there. Oh, can I have teeth? Yeah, no, just one, just one are still or two. Yeah, to my... What if I will sing a song? Will you give me a teeth? No. Why not? What will you give me for a song? Oh, I can help you with that. Hey, Phantom Plane, how you doing, man? It's good to see you again. How's everyone doing in chat? Shiny coin. I'm trying to fix my seating here. <laughs> Oh! 
So we get an audience in here, it'll be fun. Picture. Rain has come, the rain has come, we got rain.
moving back shit because you step out of the rain if you want to see moving back shit. Probably gonna do some more fishing in a bit or something. <laughs> Good time to get out of the rain is for a moving picture. That's for sure. And movie pictures on the screen. Your moving pictures are which pictures? So I, I can hardly hear you at this distance, ma'am. Pardon. Come on out of the rain. Come on out of the rain. I said your moving pictures are witchcraft. No, no they're not. The, the signs. Pictures are not meant to move. Well, it's, imagine this, it's a bunch of still pictures, but it's one after another, so it looks like it's moving. I don't like it. It reminds me of witchcraft. If it was witchcraft, maybe, surely maybe, the law would allow it. Maybe you should uh, have them show you how it works. Show what, how what works? Like, you should, have, you should have him show you how those machines work and do the moving picture show. Well, just like the locomotive, uh, moving pictures are a thing of science. All machines. I thought science was witchcraft. No, science is going to disprove witchcraft through um, real things in our world. I don't know if I believe you, sir. Well, ma'am, the only way to convince you is for you to see for yourself on how it works. I don't trust yeah, you. I think you should. I think you should. Nope. I don't trust you. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Moving pictures is witchcraft. What are you two yeah. up to? Paul, you ready? Remember what I said to you. Wait, what, what, are you what are you folks up to? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Don't worry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, now, now. Come on. Stop using my ticket booze. Listen. Okay. Now, don't Whoa, 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 whoa. I am moving. Hey, stop, stop using my ticket booze as a throwing knife thing. It's not, it's not uh, a destined destination uh, for this. Come on, listen uh, now. I told you not to worry, puppet. No, no I'm, I'm worried because you're, you're brewing in something that I worked hard on. Uh, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Well, you, you still put a holes. Ah. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, that definitely ah. backfired when you said you knew what you're him. doing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your friends just run off. You, you might want to see a doctor for that. That doctor, looks real. I, I'm not an expert, but that looks real bad. You, you, you should ought to see a doctor. Doctor, please. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of blood. Um, well, that serves you folks right. Saying myself, you shouldn't be messing around and throwing knives like that, especially right next to my ticket booth. It was, it was bad luck uh, coming, and it was raining, so you could slip on a knife. Hey, hey, hey. you all right? Help me, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I'm not a doctor. Jesus. Um. I get one. Man, it looks like they're gonna want. I'll get you out of the rain. I'll do that. Oh my God, you are heavy and bloody and muddy. Oh. Okay, let's get you out of the rain. Uh, I'll, I'll put you right here. Does it look more comfy. Look at that. Oh Jesus. Um, you're gonna be okay. Oh, can you please move me a little again, please? Um, uh, one second. Let me just. Uh... Oh, I really appreciate it. Oh, Is uh, dead? Uh, he's fine. It looks like I, I have to go check on something real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, 
uh, let's have to go check out the window. They're not back. I wasn't there. I wasn't part of it. Not my problem. Maybe I should check my bank balance. You know, bank, um, see if I got a letter or something. From any friends. Oh, family. Just in case. My back's killing me! Closing his eyes real quick. Taking quick All right, I just want to let you know. Uh, are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. All right, I, I'm. Oh, pardon me. Oh, did you mean this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I was just reaching up the. Uh, yes, oh, I see. What I'm trying to say is, um, I will go to the telegram station and I will uh, telegram for a doctor, and um, uh, he has my thoughts and prayers. Yes, my, my thoughts and prayers. My, my best thoughts and prayers. Man. Okay, what happened to him exactly? Uh, they were playing a game, throwing knives, and that I guess it was raining, and they slipped. And I told them not to. I warned them. This is what they get for playing a dangerous game. But I, I, I'm okay, going to well, telegram about well, that. Puppet is already uh, sending a telegram. All right, all right. Well, thoughts and prayers, all the, all the same, all the same. Uh, okay, well, call on, best of box. Th thoughts and prayers. <laughs> That's the kind of person Frank Brower is. He's not the most like useful in situations like this. He's like, yeah, yeah oh, not my problem. I don't know how to handle this. I thought the brands. Yeah. Let's go to Rhodes. Alrighty, let's head to um, head to that one town, one town over there, the town over yonder, the town far away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Headed the roads. We're on the road to roads. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.
I like to say good afternoon because my character's like, back in that time period actually, it's more like, um, how you make yourself less threatening, you know, more friendly, more presenting. Like, hello, you say hello to every stranger you pass on the road, pretty much. Or else make yourself look suspicious. Kind of helps feel out the intent a bit. I'm playing a wild RP stance. How you doing, man? I'll come in. Wild RP. I'm doing pretty good. I'm having a good day. Have some. Have had some uh, entertaining RP today. It's been a good one. It's been a blast. Now let's get back into character. There you go, Saint Denis. This town looks pretty empty. Maybe we might go fishing in um, Van Horn again a little bit. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hope you're well. I'm practice the voice a bit. Put on a role play server.
I like how much I'm doing on the server for like world building and what you can do and where you can go and how things operate and work. See how many people are at the casino bar right now. Get my horse over here. Let's go on side. I forgot what this place was called. Saint Denis Grand Corps. But it's fine. We're walking around town. Enjoy leisure in the park and things of that sort. Dragon Restaurant. Evening, sir. Times always changing.
We're getting some food at the best. Town's busy of horse people. People run around everywhere. Very busy. Very busy and bait. That's okay. Very busy and bait. I'm gonna go fishing for a bit. I'm trying to like make this character kind of rich again. So I gotta farm a little bit. Do it through some like films. Like you're showing off films and stuff. Anything else we got to bring? All right. Uh, do you got a canteen? Nope. You know what? I no. drink milk. Okay. okay. I might need to. I got milk. That might be I difficult need... to get in Guarma. Well, that's not good because that's the only thing I like drinking. Okay. I need to go fill up my canteen now. They going to Guarma. They got milk. They got milk. They got milk. I don't know if there's any prison art going on. I wonder if there's any prison art going on. Or maybe I'll fight Frank Roos a bit. You know what? I'll give that a go. We got two Franks. Or I'll switch characters if it's empty. Um. Did they change it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've updated it. It's better. Oh, I just got so Okay, there was another button. We're going to play uh, Frank. Frank Roos. How you doing? What's going on? Game crashed. Why did the game crash? Can you tell me? Tell me why the game crashed. Yeah, I'll do that for you. What are you going to do for me in return? Well, what are you going to do for me in return? That's the question. Ain't nothing free around here. That's for sure. When you scratch my back, I scratch your back. I like this new uh, loading screen they have. It feels very official. Very, very official.
There might be nobody in prison, so we're gonna probably switch again. Everybody out at the field. Just NPCs. Yeah, there was uh, nobody in prison. I kind of like the prison RP. RP picked a lot, so I was hoping people would be around for that. They weren't. They were not, unfortunately. I'm passing by my pleader. Fortuna Theater, Magic Lantern Shows. Fortuna. It's a good, strong name, I said. Get my horse and we'll. Gotta make some money for my business man. A lot of folks at the telegram station here in St. Domain. I gotta read logs my horse into spawn. My horse might be underneath the building.
spawned in the water, poor guy. back one Mm-mm. I was an NPC. I thought I was a player for a second. That was going to be really awkward. There seems to be a lot of NPCs on this road itself right now.
Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go fish right here. I don't think I've ever fished though. I should try to fish in every body of water to see what I can catch. So far the catfish and the big mouth bass have yeah, probably sold the best. It's crazy when trees grow at an angle like that. It's because of snow. I think it damages the sap when they, they grow from it. Myself a good spot for fish. Yes. 
I've never seen a bear that big before. I, I was just, I thought I was a rock. Goddamn beast. Oh my lord, what do we do? I feel like I might be trapped here. D did it run away? Oh, you were right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. I, I, I walked by it. I, I, I stared at it for a second. Then I realized that's a gosh darn gri grizzly bear right there. I thought it was a rock. <laughs> yeah, that was a bear. I saw. I looked behind, saw your horse, saw the bear, and I'm like, I'm just gonna stay where I am. <laughs> Jesus. I hope it's gone now. Long arm, just in case. Jesus, that scared the living life out of me. I think I'm gonna stay on this rock where it's safe from the bear. Yeah, I was standing on that rock right there, and it worked. I, I was just, I was just kind of in the water, just hoping. I'm hoping that when I catch some of these fish, it doesn't chase me down in the middle of the woods and decide to have a snack on me. That's good. I was I was gonna try help, but one, I had my long arm on my my horse, and two, I had so many fish in my pockets I could not run. Well, I, I, my plan was to catch a fish just now, throw one at it. Hopefully, it wants that instead of me. Uh, what's your name, Miss, if you don't mind me asking? I'm Fable. Fable, nice to meet you. I'm Frank. I'm glad you didn't die there. Or that I didn't have to, you know, bring you all the way to Valentine. I'm glad I'm in one piece and I'm not being chowed on by a very large, very angry grizzly bear. It seems uh, doctors don't like to spend a lot of time out near the uh, farther reaches of civilization. I heard the salmon's good money. I find rock bass to be the most uh, reliable fish to catch. Uh, for money wise, they tend to be between nine and twelve dollars. Blue catfish is the best. They can they end up being about between uh, ten and fifteen. Largemouth bass over by Blackwater, a lot of money but real heavy. At least it's close to Blackwater. Salmon don't ever want to go on the pole. That's fine by me. I'd rather, uh, they look heavy. I'd rather have a bunch of rock bass instead. Bluegill ain't worth too much. But if you're right next to uh, Fishmonger, ain't a big, uh, big deal. 
You see, whenever I, I fish Van Horn, I'll catch everything and sell it real fast. Congratulations. Yeah, I got my I got my box for the heavy ones. My crate or whatever. I used to have a box, but I think I left it somewhere a while back and I forget. Think they're gonna see the bear? I have no idea where the bear would be, but if they're riding fast enough, the bear might not even bother. It's my thinking, at least. Come on, get out of the water. Get on out of the water. Come on. Yeah, I was gonna say your horse was swimming there. That beaver right here, I thought it was. Come on. I think I find my favorite spot to fish so far is Blackwater. I haven't been here yet, but it seems like the fish like something real far apart. And there's a spot in Blackwater where there's a bit of a, what do they call it when the land surrounds a bit of water? I forget, it's like a natural port. A lot of fish get in there and it's real easy to catch one after another. I like, uh, there's a spot south of Cumberland Falls, right by the... Right with where the map says uh, uh, Dakota River or something like that. It's like a little indent with a bunch of salmon. We'll always be there. Or not always, but. What kind of lure are you using? Uh, a river, I think. Yeah, that's good for uh, salmon, I think. I'm using a lake one because I, I saw this was a lake, so I figured I'd come up here. I mean, it's been working for other stuff, too, so. Gotten, what do I have in my pockets? Bass, perch, pickerel, bullhead, huh, or bluegill. Okay, I read that. I identified it wrong, I should say. Hey, many fish. Where have they gone?
This is probably some of the clearest water I've ever seen in my life. You can see the fish real easily. Yeah, over here is real, real pretty. Guarma has pretty clear water, but it's real expensive to get over there. I figured uh, the stories I heard about Guarma, I'll stay here where the safety of the law is. Here's there. I see it. I... Jesus. Fuck off. I knew I wouldn't hit it, but if I could scare it away. What if it came around and had to stay? Those things are scary. I'm just trying to peacefully fish. That's 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 not my fishing pole. Okay. I think somebody's seen that bear. I think so. It seems like the fish are all swimming real far apart right now. about eating plants I've never seen before personally. It was just so pretty. I wanted to taste it. Just go and drink some. No, I had a cousin die that way once. Oh. But it was with mushrooms. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what that is. You, you take care, ma'am. I'm gonna uh, ride on back down to uh, I think um, whatever that place is called. Uh, Van Horn. See if I can get some easy fish. Stay safe. Actually, I think we'll go Blackwater. 
She got black water. That's a big ass. I think there was an NPC that got chased by the bear last and shot at. Or shot at the bear. Pardon, pardon.
I wasn't expecting to see you. horse is so tired. Can't tell if the water's like actually flowing or not. I hear myself kind of in the river, I think, actually. I don't know, there were snapper toads out this way. This is the kind of pool I'm looking for. Catch me some fishies.
You gotta see a big mouse, big mouth bass, bass, a big mouth bass right over there. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It looks bigger for some reason than we did. Mouth bass. I'm gonna do it overweight. There's some more. Fishies, come on. Over. It's really still. Rock bass are my favorite so far. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You get some more. I thought NBC is like the right by here, can tell. Eggfuls.
I'm also kind of curious how much these guys go for. He smelled bad already. Got a big old snapping turtle. This right here is my favorite fishing spot, but it seems like it only spawns fish when there's like nobody around. It kind of goes nuts with the fish spawn there. Unless it was a glitch that they fixed, that was my favorite fishing spot. <laughs> 